is a women's bantamweight matchup between Ronda Rousey and Chris Cyborg. Well, it's amazing to think what could have been and how long it took Chris Cyborg to finally get to the UFC in 2016. Largely, she has made up for lost time. This is as intimidating a physical freak of nature as we have in the women's game. How do you make up for lost time? You put a stamp on everything that you do. And that's what Chris Cyborg did for winning the UFC title, even going all the way back to strike force. Cyborg was already considered one of the greatest mixed martial artists in the world. You know when you watch a Cyborg fight. You're about to watch brutality. And until Amanda Nunes matched that, everybody else just folded. Chris Cyborg is a dominant force of nature, and she will look to show that this evening. She had an unbeaten streak from 2005 to 2018. It will go down in history as one of the greatest runs the women's game has ever seen. All right, so here she is, United States Olympic medalist, former UFC women's bantamweight champion, and Hall of Famer Ronda Rousey. You can't tell the history of women in mixed martial arts without starting with Ronda. It has to start with Ronda yeah. Rousey because her first UFC fight against Liz Carmouche back in Anah Anaheim was truly, truly amazing. They went out there, they put on a great show, Ronda ended it in the most patented way. It had to end with an arm bar. Ronda got it at the end of the first round. The crowd went crazy. And you understood at that moment, if Ronda was a star prior, she was going to the moon after that night in Anaheim. And that's exactly what she did. She really has had a profound impact on American culture. Halloween rolls around yes. every year. Ronda Rousey's are everywhere. You can't effectively put into words her contribution to mixed martial arts. And of course, tonight, she will try to add to her legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Christian Cyborg Justino! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, DC, it's hard to believe that this fight was actually finally made. A lot of us felt like Ronda Rousey wasn't going to be able to enjoy retirement without at least trying to conquer Chris Cyborg. She gets her crack tonight. She finally gets the opportunity. Cyborg kept calling her name, calling her name, calling her name. And at her core, Ronda Rousey is a competitor. So when she gets challenged, she gets back to action. Tonight, she finally gets to shut the mouth of Chris Cyborg. Nice punch there. Right right. Beautiful takedown land. This is a terrible position. guard now DC and just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger oh she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you so she needs to pass by passing the half guard already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions move the half guard then continue to try to advance to either get off great ground and pound 
more just positional advantages in the grapple. Right punches there. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Taken down here. Oh, pretty sneaky there to get the ankle pick. Oh, and with urgency, she is back up again. Leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh! Cyborg's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, the right hand is there for her. down as another takedown attempt landed. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the... Oh, wow, oh! And attack an armbar. Second round, straight ahead. Right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the field. Yes, yeah, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. Strike right there. All right, back to the first we go, and an immediate trip there to get the takedown. So really, a case of pick your poison when you're in a clinch setting with this fight. Oh, she does. Suck. Now trying to trap an arm. tonight at times, not that time. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Well, she lands a combination now. Nice volume of strikes, and it was hard to find a miss in there. She's on point. Volume is very important, but the accuracy stands out above all in that competition. So a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands. Nice job by her to get the take down there. And I know her opponent felt like she put in all the right work, but sometimes until you're in there feeling the opponent, you don't know what you're in for. You're not wrestling with someone at that level every single day. The person has their own unique feel in the wrestling exchanges, and she's experiencing that right now. Great punch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Now connects with a right. Another punch position. 
nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the car. Back and forth we go. Uh, All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like really on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Third round underway. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Mixes it up nicely in terms of... Oh, best shot she's thrown tonight. Opponent's oh, over. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh! Rousey's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Rousey gets caught with that punch. Oh! oh her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. A very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Attempting an arm bar here. from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. And she's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, so have the get-ups. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Cyborg's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. Oh, she gives up her back here. So a case of pick your poison, and now she's gonna have to work hard defensively to prevent the finish. Well, she's gotta protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's gotta really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is... Oh, nice angle, Pat. Great timing, better execution. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. What a fight! Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest at 928. We play the winner by unanimous decision, Chris Sample. All right, so the judges are unanimous in their decision. She gets it done tonight. Big tests lie ahead. Tonight she passed this one. You knew